Sneaker fan, what's going on? It's your boy Jake back with another real and fake review. And you already know what it is. The Air Jordan 1. So fly. So fly. If you guys are from Miami, South Florida area, you guys already know the madness that happened with this shoe when they tried to release it. Basically, it was a riot. Yeah, and so uh, what the owner did was he basically uh, gave some pairs, or sold some pairs to a certain few, and the rest went to resellers. Exactly what he did. It's an unfortunate thing, but that's what happened. Uh, without further ado, let's get on with it. I'm gonna I'm take this from two uh, different perspectives, and I'll explain as I, you know, break everything down. Of course, you see the box sizes are different, but this at least came with the Nike Air branding box. Um, the first fakes came with um, a lot of fakes, and still some now come with the Union box. They had the Union LA one box. And that's how they came. Of course, you see you got the orange uh, Nike Air branding, and this is the red Nike Air branding. Um, the labels. Let's take a look at the labels. All right. I mean, not too bad, but uh, the price is torn off on this one, on the retail pair. Um, these are my personal pairs, just to let you guys know. And of course, the size 12 boxes, if you didn't know, um, I think 11 on up, the boxes were oversized. These were like for like size 14 and 15. And so they all came in size in, in that large box. You know, it usually would be in a box like this. All right, let's get on with it. Of course, these soul flies I have worn multiple, multiple times. If you follow me on IG, you see that I wore them on my birthday and I went to the spa. So I'm just gonna take all the accessories out. There's the paper. All right, we got the laces. All right. So we'll put that back there. So I'm just gonna put the shoe on my lap. Um, I didn't look at the shoe yet, 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 but all right, it has a little weight on it. This isn't, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right. We're gonna get deep into this. All right. We're gonna get deep into it. Right here. We'll leave that uh, fake box out of the way. Put this legit thing here. All right. Now, I haven't done this review in about three years, three and a half years is when I've done this video and the, none of the shoes were mine. You know what I mean? So the fake one wasn't mine um, and the real one wasn't mine. I purchased the fake uh, for him. You know what I mean? So I just happened to do a review on them you know what i mean so let's take a look um i'm gonna talk about suppliers right quick um all of the suppliers that i was asking is like yo this is the wrong box this is the wrong box it's like no no this isn't right this isn't a uh, wrong box this is how it comes this is how it's come it's like so when you're dealing with, with these guys from cross that water make sure they really know their shoes you know what i mean because I don't know, I've been fighting with so many suppliers and they're telling me that the shoes came with the union box. That's like, nah, man, that's not it. And they don't even come with the sword either. But I get into that. But um, it's all good. Just make sure you, these guys know shoes and they're just not just distributors, you know, for the middleman and stuff like that. So um, let me get on with it. All right. Um, from what you can see here, uh, the toes are wrong. Uh, there's a slight different tone with the orange. I think this orange is a little darker. While we're at it, let's take a look at the laces. Laces. Definitely a bit different. Definitely a difference in the laces. They have the uh, tassels on them, so that's cool. It's a different shade. You see that? It's more of a sail. This is white. 
all right and of course the all important gold jump man right last one i had he had the club fist and stuff like that his hand was clubbed that is on the fake pair very thin but when you look at this one this is absolutely amazing real thick take a look at that just looks uh, amazing compared to the replicated pair you know i just need to wipe it and clean it I'm just you know you can see you know, his hands you don't you know it's, just, it's a club it's a clubbed hand you can see the detail in the retail focus focus there you go you see that all right and then no sword i think the sword only came in the friends and family version uh how deep am i into this six minutes in so we got rid of all the little stuff of course you know this is the latest and greatest version because it came with the new school shoe tree so you know that's straight off the press all right here are all the details there's a lot of details on this shoe like for the mia in the back which is there and of course the map of florida with the miami hurricane right there in miami the hurricanes right on miami it should be a 305 on the left shoe and you see the 305 the, the last one i had um the 305 was uh you know the font and stuff was different and of course we got the map of florida with the soul fly sign there so this retail shoe of course sleek toe excellent material uh a lot of the early fakes didn't have that gloss on the soul fly this one absolutely does wings logo doesn't look the best it has tumbled leather all over is this the best fake out there most definitely but um comparing to the retail pair mm -mm. Mm -mm. So we look at the back there's a 305 on the left shoe retail pair let's take a look at this one yeah so they actually got that 305 much much better the green is a lot darker the green is a lot darker on the retail pairs as well and let's go MIA here. Let's go Miami. The back of the tongue. So we have the MIA big letters. And uh, not as big. Not as big, but it's there. You give them credit for that. Take a look at the back. This shoe is warm, but still has the hourglass. You can look and see the different shades of orange and um, the hourglass shape. We give it a lean test. And of course, midsole pattern, always different. Always different. All right, that's it, move this chair. You won't be crapping about the noise. You see the fibers on a leather cut on the medial side. You can see see it here. Of course, that varies, but I think the leather feels feels pretty all right, and it's a nice thick leather on the toe. It has a tumbled leather on the swoosh. Take a look at the toe. We're gonna do the all important squeeze test. All right. Ah, this one's Boeing. This one is Boeing. Not as bad as my Rebellion Air. Um, you see how this shoe is stretched out? I'm gonna explain why it's stretched out. These things from, uh, they're getting a free plug from me today. They're getting a free plug from me today. Uh, Yeah, these shoe trees from Rejuvenator where it um, completely, I think you could get these from, you know, from any other place as well, but I got uh, two pair of these, two sets of these, and you put them in and they're like, 
like takes the creases out and everything. You just leave it in there for a while and like you don't see much. You don't see much. That's that's a this is excellent. I mean, credit to them. Credit to them, definitely credit to them. Um, let me see if I can pull out this insole, even though I wore it, so it might be kind of glued in. No, no, it's good. It's good. So we take a look at the insides. That strobe, strobe L, strobe stitching, short piece of tape on the inside. We'll look at the production date, which is this 5, 16, 18 to 10, 16, 18. Man, I did that video almost two, four years ago. That's insane. That's when I first started my channel. That's insane. So that's the mark that I got there from my uh, my in my shoe insoles. Crazy. My uh, art supports. So we'll pull out the left. And so, pull that out. Remember, no sword, people. Only on the friends and family. All right, this is glued in, but it's okay. Ripped out a little chunk. It is what it is. So here we go. Look at that. I don't need to say anything. Fake is at the bottom, retails up top. There you have it. I mean, not bad. And then we'll take a look at the inside again here. They do have the short piece of tape. The strobe stitching is completely different. Uh, let me see if I can get in here where you can compare both side by side. Ah. There you go, and you can definitely see uh, the material difference and the color difference on the inner <sighs> in the collar. So now let me get these insoles back in. I'll tell you now, guys. I mean, even the tassels. That's the best rendition you're gonna find uh, of the Soulfly Air Jordan One, straight up. Uh, if you're looking for a fake. I think legits are still going for like, I don't know, the prices vary. I see 1,300, 1,400. I think I seen three grand. It's absolutely insane. And my soul flies, I wore them to the gym already. I wore them all over the place, wear them out. It is what it is. But I just really wanted to get um, a good fake pair that, um, that came with at least something close uh, to what the box is. It's the regular Nike Air box and not that Union One box. I was really, really upset with that. And I was upset with that supplier uh, that was uh, insisting that that was, that's it. That's how they come. And I was like, no, that's wrong. That's not how retail comes. I gave them pictures and everything. It's like, no, that's not it. It's like, okay, I won't be dealing with you. But sometimes you gotta wait to get something right. It is what it is. All right. I'm sorry that I'm taking all this time doing this and setting all this up. My apologies. But you know how I do my videos. Uh, if, you, if you're new to my channel, <laughs> this is how I do my videos, man. Um, I just don't have the time to do all the editing and all that stuff. When I'm gonna weigh these, these shoes and everything and making sure everything is all right. Uh, with the black light as well, even though the shoes have been worn. So it is what it is. So this right shoe will have the shoe tree in it uh, from Rejuvenator. But you know what? Let me just take it out. I'm going to take that, the Rejuvenator shoe tree and I just keep the lights, keep the, uh, the laces in this one. I put the laces in this one and then I will put...
in there. So let's uh let's weigh them. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. All right, we're zeroed in. If we go left first, one pound, 2.2 .2 ounces. One pound, 3.5 ounces, that's with the shoe tree. So I'm gonna put this rejuvenated thing back in here. Great investment. This is an excellent investment. I'll show you guys right now. You'll watch when I push down on it. You can see it's stretching. So now it's all stretched out. Things excellent. Just gonna check it anyway here. So once I put that rejuvenator uh, shoe tree in there, it's a uh, one pound, 4.2 ounces. We're gonna go here, one pound, 2.8. One pound, 4.4 ounces. And now I'll put this rejuvenator shoe tree in here. I'll pull out the laces, pull out the laces, boom, boom. Sink this thing in here. Ah, that thing's excellent. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we looking like. One pound, 4.7 ounces. All right, turn this baby off. Black light, call it a day. Did I do a squeeze test? Did I do the squeeze test on this thing beforehand? It's bowing a little bit. You see it? Ah, it bows. That's it. All right. So let's uh, let's get this black light going. All right. So black lights on the fake pair. Oh, the bottom is glowing. All right, that soul fly is glowing as well under the light and the tongue and the inner in, inner workings are glowing. That canvas material and that soul fly is glowing here. Let's take a look at the retail pair. Actually look like the midsole glows a little bit. Um, the soul fly here does glow, the wings logo. You can see it under the light, get a little closer. You can see that glowing. Uh, the midsole, I mean the outsole does not glow. The orange is not glowing. But on the fakes, it's glowing big time. It's glowing hard. And the midsole doesn't glow on that either. Let me take a look at the inner workings. Um, all right, that canvas isn't glowing on the inside on the uh, fake pair. It's just the tongue. And then you can see that wings logo. You can see it reflecting there. And that's it. That's it, my good people. If you look here, you see that canvas isn't glowing, just the stitching right here. So it's not glowing there. You can see all that inside material isn't glowing under the light. But when you go here, boom, it's all glowing there. Legit checking purposes. Legit check-in purposes. Now, if you're just gonna go and find that supplier and buy it from them, that's your business, then there's no need for weight testing and black lighting and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like I said, legit checking purposes. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Jake signing out. I'm almost 20 minutes in. Uh, no talking. Appreciate y'all. Peace.